What's up everybody, Jared back again, and today we're going to be pimping my ROM. <laughs> Just like the title says, um, but in all seriousness, the mod's actually been out for a little while now. Um, I can't remember the name of the developer, I'll actually be probably putting his name in right about now. Um, this is a fantastic mod. This is for everybody who wants to actually add every single mod available for Android known to mankind, well, probably a lot of them anyways, um, on top of whatever ROM you're currently running. So if your ROM doesn't come with a lot of these mods, which it probably doesn't, um, this is gonna be perfect. This is something that I might actually make a standard in rotation whenever I flash new ROMs um, that I feel like playing with for a little while after perhaps I've already done a review on it. Um, but anyways, so um, installation instructions will be at the end of this video. There is a special method on how to install this um, to actually set it up for installation. So make sure you watch to the end of the video to find out how to do this before you totally bung up your device. Um, but anyways, so first things first, what you're going to want to do, uh, once you have it all ready to go and it's on your device and it's on your SD card and you're ready to flash it, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe cache and we're going to want to make sure that we wipe Delvet cache and this is going to get rid of all the, uh, little bits of orphan data and leftover crap from, um, any possible, uh, previous mods or whatever they may be. Uh, so now that you've got a fresh slate here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click back. We're going to go to install. Um, I actually have this on my external storage, um, even though you'll notice it says internal storage. That's a, another story for another day. Uh, but you'll notice we'll go down here to the bottom and the file that I've chosen, uh, because you do have to choose a file that is um, compatible with whatever display you're using, most likely probably due to uh, some of the modifications perhaps that are involved as well as the Aroma Touch because this is an Aroma installer uh, file. So you'll notice we have XHDPI uh, selected for my Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, the latest version is version 1.5.3. Um, I will be posting a link in the description below, obviously, for you guys to uh, go download this and, you know, read up on it, see all the different modifications that are available. Um, this is early development, so a lot of the um, modifications and hacks that are included in the list on the thread may not be available um, just yet. So, you know, keep up to date with this. Um, so right off the bat, you'll know, and again, now we're in our Aroma installer. So right off the bat, you'll get this uh, selection here if you are running an AOS based ROM or a stock based ROM uh, because I'm running AOKP ROM right now I'm gonna go ahead and click jelly bean and we're gonna click next and we've got a ton of stuff in here so um, we're now in in it D tweaks so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it all tweaks um, this is something that I'm a little bit confused on because if I click on all tweaks does that mean I don't have to click the rest of these um, just for you know the purpose of this video I'm gonna go ahead and go down the list and start checking all of them anyways or the ones that we want anyways uh, so I'll click off I guess and uh, we're gonna click on internet no actually we'll click on on <laughs> I don't know we'll see what happens uh, we will click on internet speeds of course we want that battery consumption sure uh, miscellaneous kernel tweaks sure on-demand governor Dalvik we've got uh, defragmentation uh, no I don't want that actually no I don't want that um, disable logger okay because that will uh, speed up the device a little bit uh, disable normalize sleeper I don't know what that is but we'll click in it actually because I don't know what that is I'm gonna click off uh, use strict min free handlers I never use that governor anyways um, non-rotational flags blocks I don't know what that is improve external force okay uh, force GPU 2d rendering okay uh no i don't like that actually it mucks up applications sometimes uh miscellaneous ram tweaks sure improve multitasking add sq light tweaks uh add experimental tweaks no i don't like experimental stuff uh, install various in d smoothness tweaks enable external sd card io tweaks uh, use ad block yeah we'll test it out um, again you should probably support your developers by not doing that but nevertheless it's up to you zip line apks at each boot i do like that why is that selected off and enable main thunderbolt no idea what that is uh tweak cpu and gpu tuning sure use cfs tweaks i don't know but sure it sounds good <laughs> use tcp buffers on tweaks yep uh, optimize SQLite database. Yep. Click next. Now we're into build.prop tweaks. Uh, keep in mind, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. So uh, I'm discovering this with you guys for the first time. 
Um, looks like there's not a whole lot in here. I'm going to go ahead and just click on install all tweaks, but we'll just take a look at what they are. Uh, you got your 3G signal and speed tweaks, battery saving tweaks. Uh, what else we got? Wi-Fi, Dalvik RAM tweaks, deeper sleep, dialing time tweaks, uh, increased JPEG image quality, disable kernel error checking, lock launcher and memory, internet speed tweaks, touchscreen tweaks, remove black screen after calling, allow purgeable assets, scrolling tweaks, and video streaming tweaks. As you can see though, I have all of them installed, so hopefully they all do actually install. Uh, now we're on to enable and disable functionalities. So uh, allow De Delvic to use JIT, um, I'll allow it to. Uh, enable video hardware acceleration. Disable boot animation, no. Enable GPU uh, UI rendering, sure. Um, enable surface dithering, better image quality at the cost of performance, no thanks. Uh, enable HSUPS network mode, no. Disable ADB, debugging icon, no. Disable volume wake, no. Disable sending of usage data, buttons, backlight always on, and what's this? Hardware buttons, backlight always on when screen is on? Eh. Uh, 16-bit transparency, no. Now we're on to the extra applications section of this, I suppose. So we've got launches to choose from. I'm not going to select either of those because I already have Nova Launcher pre-installed and set up as I want it. Uh, miscellaneous apps, we've got Solid Explorer, ROM Toolbox Lite, Adobe Flash Player, Script Manager, Hulu, uh, oh, Hulu Portrait and Hulu Landscape. So the famous video streaming service is modified to work on a new device. So famous video oh look that that's weird the text went to different color I hope it doesn't install two separate applications I'm gonna go ahead and just use landscape uh, and smart stay X that's awesome that's from uh oh uh oh it just crashed on me uh oh it just crashed on me this is still in development so that's probably why this is happening I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video. We'll come back once I've rebooted the device and have gotten back to this uh, particular point in the uh, installation. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, it crashed and I actually had to do a battery pull to get this back to where it is. Uh, anyway, so uh, if that does happen and you do a battery pull, you get back into recovery, make sure you wipe cache and delve cache yet again. And then, of course, continue the installation or redo it all over again. Uh, so like I was mentioning, I already have Nova Launcher installed, so I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to install that. Uh, miscellaneous, uh, we got Solid Explorer, ROM Toolbox, Adobe Flash Player, Script Manager, Hulu Plus Portrait, and Hulu Plus Landscape, and Smart Stay X. So we'll click Hulu Plus Landscape and Smart Stay X, which is that um, application that allows the front facing camera to see and detect if your eyes are still looking at the screen and prevent it from turning off. So we'll click next on that. Um, we've got some themes to download and install if you do choose to do so. Say for instance, you're rocking Cyanage Mod 9 or Cyanage Mod 10 or MIUI, I guess, I don't know. Uh, click next on there and we've got add extra features to your tab. Um, I'm assuming that means not only to your tab, but to your phone as well. Uh, so in here, you've got add open VPN support, beats audio, install adrenaline boost script, uh, allows to free up more memory when needed. Type SU boot in terminal emulator. I'll never do that. Uh, Sony Walkman and S Voice, um, none of which I'm interested in uh, installing. Go ahead and click next on that. You are now ready to begin the installation. So we'll go ahead and click boom install. And uh, this shouldn't take too long at all, um, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now and uh, we'll come on back once it is done installing. Alrighty, we're back and it's finished installing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the funny stuff it says here. Uh, it says pimp my rom is checking if all the pimping went right <laughs> please stand by and then it says uh, finished enjoy your freshly pimped rom sweet so let's go ahead and click finish and we're going to reboot device now and click finish and this will boot right into the rom now um, you may have noticed uh, yesterday I actually uploaded a video was it yesterday or the day before I think it was yesterday um, I did a little review a little demonstration of a application that's called uh, static ROM analysis and it basically uh, analyzes all of the um, customizable settings in your settings panel um, to see how to, to kind of give you like a numerical score on uh, basically how customizable or how customized your ROM is. Um, so the score that we did previously during that video for AOKP Jelly Bean, uh, build four, mind you, um, I think it was at 545. So we're gonna go ahead and pause the video here. Once you get back, we'll um, 
go ahead and uh, test that score out again see if any of these tweaks and whatnot have been applied and uh, increased the final score of AOKP ROM over and above what it was previously uh, so we'll pause the video right now we'll be back in just a moment all right we're back we're fully booted up and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, static ROM analysis application see if it's come up with anything new and no it hasn't so just like last time, um, I actually reviewed this particular application, our AOKP score was 547. Uh, we've just applied all of those Pimp My ROM tweaks and mods, <clears throat> and unfortunately, we're still at 547. Uh, so a lot of those tweaks and stuff like that are kind of under the hood. It takes a little while to determine whether or not they're actually working. There is other methods um, on how to find out whether those were actually physically applied by going into all the different files and finding the lines of code that have been altered and added. Um, I really don't feel like doing that and to be completely honest with you, I don't know how to do all that stuff. I'm just a power user. I'm not an expert, right? Uh, anyways guys, so uh, go ahead, uh, try it out for your device, um, Pimp My ROM is available for many, 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 many devices. Um, it actually is mind-blowing how many devices it's compatible with. And um, yeah, test it out, check it out, maybe it'll increase the performance of your ROM. Um, if it has, maybe leave a comment down below, oh, look what time it is. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if it has actually improved performance and uh, battery and data speeds, the whole nine yards as it claims to. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to set this up so that you can uh, load it on your SD card and flash it. Uh, like I mentioned, there is a bit of a special way to uh, set this up. So uh, go ahead and follow along with me, if you will. Um, now you'll notice that because this is for the Samsung Galaxy S3, for my, uh, my de device's um, display, uh, we have downloaded the XHDPI version of this. Of course, there's versions for virtually every other display out there. Uh, so anyways, Let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna go and locate your uh, ROM's zip file. And you're just gonna go ahead and double click on it to open it up. You don't wanna extract it, just open it up. Uh, then you're gonna go ahead and locate your meta inf folder, double click on that, locate com, double click on that, head down to Google, double click on that, and click on Android one last time. Now you'll notice that we have two files in here, update binary and update script. You're gonna wanna click on update binary Move this off to the side, and you'll notice I like to keep these together just to make things a little easier for myself, all in one folder. Go ahead and click and drag update binary to this folder here. That'll load that over there. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down now, and what we're gonna do is rename that particular file to dash installer. We're adding that on the end of it. All right, by the way, I'm going to have to apologize for um, Filming the screen, this is the way I do things. A lot of people complain, say that they want me to use screen capture. I refuse to, it's just a lot more work on my end. Um, yeah, long story. Anyways, so now that that's uh, been renamed to update-binary-installer, we're gonna go ahead and open up the um, Pimp My ROM file there. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and do, and go to the same folder, so meta-inf, uh, com, google, android, and you'll notice that we have our installer there. We're gonna go ahead and delete that file altogether. Click yes, that'll do its thing, it'll delete it. And um, now what we're gonna do is move that down a little bit and uh, click and drag that, the uh, modified or renamed update binary installer file into there, into your uh, Pimp My ROM uh, zip file there. And that'll load it in there. Go ahead, close that down, and now you're good to go. Go ahead and drop your new Pimp My ROM or modified or updated Pimp My ROM dot zip uh, to your uh, storage of choice. Um, for me personally, I'm gonna go with external storage just because this isn't a ROM, doesn't necessarily need to be booted off of your uh, internal storage. So uh, that's basically it, folks. <laughs> you're good to go. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, by the way, a little side note, I may not have already mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but um, if you do have any issues considering this is an extremely early stage in development for this particular mod, head to the thread. Of course, like I mentioned before, the, all the links will be in the description below and read, 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 read. There's a lot of reading to do um, and uh, a lot of great stuff to learn about this particular modification. But most importantly, um, there's also solutions and fixes to some bugs and issues that some other users out there are currently experiencing uh, but
But anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. Uh, it really does help support the channel. Um, as well as if you haven't already, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. We do have videos five days a week. Um, so that's great. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.